Hey guys, I'm back with a new tutorial and I wanted to teach you guys. Um, it's how to play I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. Um, it's really big at my camp, so I thought I'd play it here and show everyone how so they could learn it too. Um, so here's how it's going to sound, first off. You have the capo on the second fret, by the way. Um, and then it goes into the chords. And it goes on like that for a little, a little while. Um, so, yeah. So, um, the start is you take your middle finger, holy shot. That's what I do, whatever feels most comfortable. And you hold down the second the second fret, fourth string, which make that sound. And then you pick um, the low E string, then the same string that you're holding down, then the B string, then the one right above that, which is the G. So like that you go right that's what we had and then you go back to the D string and pick that then you go to the B string and you hold down the first fret B string and you pluck it and then pull off and then you go to the uh, G string so that part sounds And then you go to holding down still that finger right there and then your ring finger on the third fret uh, fifth string and then you go like that you play the fifth string fourth string and the uh, second string so a D and B in order from low to high and then you go like this and you move this finger up one string so it's on the low E and then you go same strings here, but then you play the G string. So E, D, G for the strings. But then when you play the B string, you put your pinky down right there on the second, third fret of the second string. So you, that part sounds. Then you go after playing that, you go back to the plucking the G string. So. And then you go back to the beginning. Um, and then after you're done with that, you play that five times, five, and then you do an E minor, which is the second fret on the fifth and fourth strings. It sounds like this. And then while still holding that, you play strings, um, the B, the G, and the D. You go down up, and then a G, and then it goes into the chords where you go E minor, and, and then C, and G. That's the first verse, and then in the chorus it goes C, I, yeah, C, and then D, G. And then the last line of the chorus, when it goes, I want it that way, you go E minor, then D, G. 
And the strumming for that all is down, down, up, up, down, up. When you get it at full speed, it goes. And with the chords, it sounds like this. And what you do there is as you play the first chord, you play it for that full strumming, and then you switch to the next chord, you do the two down strokes, and then the rest of it, the up, up, down, up, is on the third chord. Like that. And that's the strumming pattern that follows throughout the whole song, so you get... Um, and so yeah, it's a pretty simple song. Uh, the most challenging part of it is definitely the picking. Um, but after a while you get to use it, it's just a matter of playing with your fingers or your pick. I find fingers to be easiest for this kind of playing. Um, so thanks for watching guys and if you have any song requests please feel free to tell me um, just make it a song that you think you'd be able to find online thanks for watching bye